Yeah, 40, 45 degrees on the water, 32 degrees outside right now where we are. We checked with the University of Minnesota Duluth, and they're saying at about seven minutes, if you're in the water, you start to uh, have exhaustion. And then you may have, if you're lucky, if you've got a flotation device, if you've got the right gear, you might be able to survive for an hour. So we are now several hours, almost six hours into this episode. Survivability is, is really uh, potentially very, very challenging. But overhead, helicopters continue to search the water for any signs of survivors. And this is an all-hands-on-deck effort in terms of Baltimore and Maryland state authorities and surrounding counties all sending mass resources into this area, uh, trying to find anybody who might be in the water. Let's talk, Tom, if we could, about this cargo <laughs> ship itself. Earlier, you and I were on the air. We could not even make out in the dark whether the ship was still afloat. We now see that it is. We've been told by authorities that the crew remains on the ship, including presumably the pilot of this vessel. What is the investigation going to look like now? As I understand it, by law, you have to, if you're, if you're traveling these very complex waters of in and around the Baltimore Harbor and the Chesapeake Bay, you have to have a local marine pilot on because it is so complex. Yeah. If we, I, we can even roll the video, Tom. In the moments before <laughs> it hits this structure, this key part of the pylon the, of the bridge's structure, the ship looks dark. It looks like it's lost power. Yes, and there